about that? One movie with the letter Q. They're not gonna cut it, so let's go QR. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Quick change! Raising Arizona, Real Genius, <laughs> The Ref, Revenge of the Nerds 1 and 2, uh, Recruits, Return uh, the Pink Panther, Running Scared, Robin Hood Men in Tights, uh, Rush Hour 1, 2, 3, Ruthless People, Road Trip, and The Replacements. Okay, uh, at number 5, this, is a, this one's really hard, it's more for R because Q is... You know, I'm going to throw number five at Quick Change because I have to have a letter Q in there. And, you know, when you have Bill Murray, Randy Quaid, and Gina Davis playing uh, bank robbers that all they want to do is get out of the whole thing uh, and they can't. Uh, Bill Murray is the clown. Hilarious. You know, you got that dry wit, that dry humor that that uh, Murray can do. Uh, you know, and then you couple that with, um, with Randy Quaid. I don't want to say... You know, similar to how he played it and uh, played the character in Kingpin, but not that far off. Either way, Quick Change is actually a pretty funny movie. Uh, check it out at number five. Number four, I'm going to go with The Replacements because, man, you got to have heart, Falco. You got to have heart. Falco's heart, baby. You can't go wrong. Uh, the, the picking of all of these different, you know, uh, backgrounds, whether you're a cop, a felon, uh, 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 an old college QB, don't matter. Like, you know, you bring all these personalities together to, you know, to represent the league and they actually succeed and kill it. Like, that. I just love those feel-good type of movies, especially when everybody comes together. Similar to, like, The Longest Yard, you know, that coming together to, to win. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Keanu Reeves is just everything in this movie. I absolutely love The Replacements. I could watch that movie on loop every freaking day. Shane Falco, baby at number four number three i gotta go with the original rush hour i mean the fastest hands in the in the east meets the fastest or the loudest mouth in the west whatever it is uh yeah you know you, you never you would never think that a comedy team a buddy comedy with chris tucker and jackie chan would work back in what 2000 2001 like you know or whatever it was 99 98 98 i think it was 98 you know you just would never expect it but you know had a really good soundtrack their their chemistry was absolutely perfect uh, you know it just it you know you got uh chris tucker coming off of what money talks i want to say fifth element and then you know doing this and you know he knocked it out of the park i thought that his delivery on everything was just on point got a lot to see a lot of what he does in his stand-up not as much as he did in money talks but still him and jackie chan you know you get the martial arts and the comedy put together fantastic combination rush hour number three at number two come on man i gotta go real genius i gotta go real genius i can't help it this is actually one of my favorite val kilmer movies i'll probably have it behind uh behind uh, um, uh top secret because i got tombstone is number one then top secret and then real genius like it, it is so damn funny to me you know he's uh, he, he, i mean it's just so it's all i, I don't want to say it's van wilder before van wilder but it comes pretty freaking close man i swear uh gotta check it out he is just absolutely gold in that movie real genius number two and at number one come on man you got Lambda, 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 and Omega Moves, baby. That's right. I'm going Revenge of the Nerds, part one, 1984. That is the ultimate freaking 80s comedy after Bachelor Party. It's got to be one of my favorites, if not, uh, you know, really, really close to Bachelor Party as one of the best comedies of the 80s. Revenge of the Nerds is, uh, you know, it's it's really an it's really an anti-bullying, be yourself you know, uh, revenge, just awesome movie. Like, it is really, really good. Now, Terrence, don't even start, because I already know, oh, yeah, the, the, uh, essay in the, in the carnival, like, come on, man, that's not, look, no. I'm not gonna take away from that movie. That movie is freaking hilarious. I love that movie. Uh, you know, it is so damn funny. Ogre, Donald Gibb as Ogre, like, kind of steals it at times, but I really thought that, you know, everything that the Lambdas do to, you know, better themselves and uh, everything they go through and then the way they do come out on top, more or less, uh, it, it was just freaking fantastic. Uh, part two's okay. Part one's where it's at. Revenge of the Nerds, number one. Now let's go on to the letter S. And that is going to be a hell of a list.